Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 versus the Poco X3 Pro. And guys, you know that and the Poco X3 Pro has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor with the 8 GPU of RAM. While the Note 20 has a Samsung Exynos 990 processor with the 8 GPU of RAM as well. So I am really, really excited to see that how is the Snapdragon 860 is stack up against the Samsung Exynos 990 and also on the back we have a quad cameras on the Poco X3 Pro while on the Note 20 we have a triple cameras we have a main 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco X3 Pro while on the Note 20 we have a 12 megapixel so without any wasting time let's get right into it now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one and guys on both phones is completely off now let's start off with the boot up test between these two devices here we go and the logo it is even more faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as compared to the Poco X3 Pro and, and both phones is running on Android 11 we have Samsung One UI 3.1 while on the X3 Pro we have a MIUI version 12 so now let's see that who is faster there and you can see in the Poco X3 Pro it is more faster when it comes to putting up as compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and you can see not a huge difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up about one second difference there and guess you can see that and both phones has a very beautiful display we have a full HD dynamic AMOLED with a 60Hz refresh rate display on the Note 20 while on the Poco X3 Pro we have a full HD IPS SD display we have 120Hz refresh rate display on the Poco X3 Pro which we don't see on the Note 20 and also both phones give you a punch hole which is more or smaller on the Poco X3 Pro as compared to the Note 20 and also we have Samsung Man UI which is more optimized as compared to the Mi UI and guys everything is closed up in the background no app is running in the background and also we have same wi-fi network on both phones and the first application we have is the phone dialer that is more faster on the note 20 as compared to the x3 pro so next on the list is the settings again more faster on the note 20 as compared to the x3 pro when you go to the display and you can see we have 120 hertz on the x3 pro while on the note 20 we have normal 60 hertz so you can see that huge difference in this area now let's check out some more application now let's start off with the amazon shopping and also we have same wi-fi network on both phones faster on the note 20 as compared to the x8 pro so now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really smooth on the poco x8 pro as compared to the note 20 which is obvious because we have because we have 120 hertz on the x8 pro now let's check out some games applications so now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga again we have Exynos 990 while on the X3 Pro we have Snapdragon 860 more faster on the Poco X3 Pro and you can see let's see pin out faster on the Note 20 as compared to the X3 Pro let's see Subway Surfer and let me increase the volume on both phones and that is more faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as compared to the Poco X3 Pro and you can see let's see Temper and 2 on both phones and again more faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 which means that Exynos 990 it is more faster as compared to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 inside the Poco X3 Pro Instagram again more faster on the Note 20 let's see Snapchat again more faster on the Note 20 now let's opening up the tutor and faster on the Poco X3 Pro as compared to the Note 20 <coughs> Zedge and more faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 but at the end X3 Pro it is faster there so now let's see the scrolling and that is again more smoother on the Poco X3 Pro again we have 120 Hz which is not as smooth as normal 60 Hz 60 has looks outdated right now let's see spotify faster on the poco x3 pro again as compared to the note 20 so last time we launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one and that is more faster on the poco x3 pro as compared to the note 20 now let's see the internet browser speed i am using default samsung internet browser on the note 20 while on the poco x3 pro we have a google chrome so now let's see wikipedia.org first website faster on the note 20 as compared to the x3 pro now let's see the scrolling and that is again i have to say that it is feels more smoother on the poco x3 pro again we have 120 hertz now let's open this and again exactly the same i have to say no difference there next on the list is the apple.com 
and again we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones and faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as compared to the Poco X3 Pro now let's see the scrolling and that is again more smoother on the Poco X3 Pro as compared to the Note 20 and Note 20 has a normal 60Hz which looks outdated against the X3 Pro 120Hz so guys now let's see RAM management on both phones and again both phones has 8GB of RAM and also we have Samsung One UI while on the Poco X3 Pro we have Mi UI let's see phone dialer that not refresh let's see settings and that is again no refresh Amazon shopping and that is not refresh on both phones it is a internet refresh let's see Candy Crush Sega refresh on the Poco X3 Pro so that's really interesting let's see pin out that is again refresh on the X3 Pro let's see Subway Surfer refresh let's see Temper and 2 refresh again on the X3 Pro so you can see that RAM management it is really really bad on the Poco X3 Pro so now let's see Instagram again refresh let's see Snapchat refresh let's see the Twitter that is not refresh Zatch and it is a refresh I think I'm not sure about that let's see Spotify refresh last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see so guys overall I have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that it, it is more faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as compared to the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco X3 Pro it is right behind there to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and also in terms of the RAM management wise Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is performed incredible in the RAM management as compared to the Poco X3 Pro I hope the RAM management will fix with some software updates on the Poco X3 Pro as well so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 versus the Poco X3 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.